<sighs> Hi, it's been a minute. Uh, you probably haven't seen much of me in a while. Unless you follow me on Instagram, I really haven't been posting here, as you can see. But today is gonna be a really fun video. Um, I feel like I get really more inspired when there's snow. And we just, last night, got snow on the mountains. Um, so like down here, it doesn't look snow, it still looks fall, but like a wet fall because it's been raining. But up there, it looks like winter. So I'm hoping I can get like some fall colors and then winter vibes, make some really cool photos. So we're, that's what kind of today is. We're gonna go up right now, gonna pack the bag, go up, and see what we can find. Hopefully get some really, really cool shots. Just me today, I don't have any friends coming with me. But anyways, we're gonna pack the bag and then we're just gonna go up. Let's hit it. So as you can see what I was saying down here, there's no snow yet. Uh, hopefully in the next few days we'll get some, but I mean, still got fall colors. And like I was mentioning, I want to get some snowy vibes and fall colors. This is the new car. Don't think any of you have seen it yet. It's a manual transmission. Very, very stoked on that because manual's better. Oh, I got like every camera that I've ever used in that bag. Okay, just adjust this. I believe I've decided that we're gonna head to Buffalo because I think that's the one place my car can make it and a place that I think is going to have some really, really cool fall vibes and also snow vibes because I think on those mountains there's snow, there better be. So without further ado, let's go. Guys, we have made it. I am still driving currently, but so I'm gonna, you know, look at the road obviously, but it started to snow. I mean, there's so much snow up here. It looks so beautiful. And I've passed so many things. I'm like, I really wanna take a picture of that. I should really stop. And then I'm like, no, if I can hit snow, that'll be perfectly ideal. And like, there's all these super dark clouds. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the, uh, to my left, there's super dark clouds, which I think are gonna give me a lot of snow. And I can see flakes right now starting to drop. So if I can get like a good steady snow, oh, it'd be perfect. I mean, like it already looks like beautiful. I mean, I can make my friends jealous. I can say I got the first uh, snow selfie of the year. Cause anyways, I'm gonna put the camera away so I don't crash. But I mean, like, look at that. Look at how beautiful all that looks. I mean, come on, this was worth it. Guys, I think I did it again. I, uh, I think I underdressed. Good thing I at least thought to bring gloves because it is cold. I did not think it'd be this cold. I mean, granted, there is snow. I don't actually know how cold it is. Uh, if I do figure it out, it'll be on the screen somewhere. But this is a first stop. Uh, this is as far as we're gonna go, as far as distance wise. I kept driving and driving. I kept thinking, you know, it might snow. I kept seeing some vehicles with snow, and then I was like, it's just if I if it if I go much further, it's I'm gonna be way too late because I have jujitsu tonight. I was like, I'm gonna be way too late to that. I'm already probably gonna be late because of how long this is gonna take because of how long I want to stay here because of how beautiful it looks. So uh, this is the first spot. I said the next pull off, and I think I missed like three looking for this. But at the top of this hill. It kind of like curves down and it looks so cool from the top of that hill looking this way we'll see it in a minute when we go back up and i park there but looking this way with like the winding road looks so cool so there's a river down here or like a stream whatever you want to call it and uh, the road kind of curves up into the woods there and kind of also curves up in the roads there so we'll definitely put the drone up uh b-roll is going to be sweet for that and then just sweet for this river shots i did not wear this right shoes today however uh on, i did not wear waterproof shoes just put it that way I didn't expect to be coming here today, so it's gonna be really fun. Let's get all the cameras out, set the drone up, and get shooting. Shoo.
right, location number one completed. It is so cold out here, guys. Like, uh, let me adjust this real quick. It is like freezing. I didn't expect it to be so cold. I, I had a hard time staying out there longer than like four minutes, but I did. Anyways, that was spot one of probably like three. I think we're gonna hit like three spots, but it is nice to be back in the warm car. I uh, got some really, really cool shots. The t winding road was definitely the way to go. So we're gonna go back up to the top of that hill. We're not gonna count that as a spot, I don't think, uh, cause I got two more in mind I really wanna hit. So that's like a bonus spot we're gonna hit. So we're gonna hit that real quick. I'm gonna launch the drone so it can get us going up there and then All right, so real, real quick, funny story here. Uh, we're back at the first spot, if you can tell. But that's because when I went up to the other spot, I had the drone in the air when I left, because I was like, I'll get some shots of me driving up there, and then I can just keep it in the air, fly it, and then I'll bring it down when I'm up there. Well, there's no pull-off up there, so I had to pull off on the side of the road, on a corner. So I was like, ah, this is this kind of sucks. And so I flew the drone around a little bit, it worked really well, except I forgot to hit record when I was going up there, and it was tracking me. Granted, it tracked me really well until I hit the trees. So it, lost track of me so it stopped and i was like yeah, that's fine i got it back anyways then i when i was flying the drone i see two cars coming up i go i, I might as well just go and see if i can find a pull off and then just land the drone there right well i took the drone off from here and so when i went that way i tried to make the drone follow me but i went i was going so fast the drone was going so slow and so high that it lost connection i totally and i went in trees and it says single loss i go oh crap so then it's telling me it's going to home, so like I gotta beat it to the pull off. So no, so there's in case someone's there, I gotta beat it to the pull off. And so I, I drive. I was driving way too way faster than I should have. And then I'm watching the controller the whole time. It says full bars of of like signal. So I have signal with the thing, but it's a gray screen. I'm like, what the heck? And it was recording this whole time, so I have footage of that. But I was like, why is it just a gray screen? This makes no sense. Well, it had gone to max altitude to return to home, and it's max altitude was in the clouds or like the fog that we have because those are really low and I didn't realize that it was that high so it's like saying it's landing I'm watching the control I'm like what the heck this is how is this this doesn't make any sense it's at like 200 meters of elevation and I still can't see it I can't see anything on it I can't see it in the sky then I cancel auto landing then I went down and sure enough it went from when I hit like 100 meters so it's only 100 meters above me is where the clouds are and then it cleared up and I was like oh okay that makes more sense and the blades, I, I took a clip here because now they're melted, but the blades had ice on them. That's how high it had been. It had condensated and it had got ice on my blades. So thankfully they didn't snap because of the cold and it's back, it's right there, it's, it's fine. And then as I was driving here, I saw a really cool like section behind me that was like, oh, if I get my drone back, I should go fly it over there, hope I don't lose signal. And that was cool. That was a really, really pretty spot. Now I'm heading to the next spot where I'll fly the drone, track myself, and get some cool driving shots. Definitely not doing it again the way I did it before because that was terrifying. I already lost one drone this year. You guys probably haven't heard I crashed my FPV drone. Couldn't find it because I crashed it way up in a spot where I tried to walk to it. Couldn't find it. Anyways, I didn't want to lose two drones this year. I didn't, yet. So, I guess we're gonna go to the next spot and hope we don't lose any more cameras. made it to my second and potentially final spot of the day because I didn't expect the whole drone situation to happen. So this might be the last stop of the day, I'm not sure. All of this, like, I, I'm like, 
I don't get out much in like just to shoot. Like I always just kind of forget about it. I'm like, oh, I should get out more. So here I am, I'm out. Also, I came down this like dirt road with this thing. Did not think that part through at all. I really hope I can make it out because I didn't realize how muddy it was. Like, I, again, my shoes are soaking wet, but I didn't realize how muddy it was. And I'm like coming up and I'm like potholes. And I'm like, oh crap, I better be able to get out of here. So that's why I stopped here. Not gonna go any further. Just gonna fly the drone, uh, get some ground shots, get a lot of B-roll and then head home. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. Just got finished shooting all that. Hope it looked good. Uh, we'll see when we get to the editing room. But again, guys, just if you don't get out and you don't start shooting, then you're never gonna know how good you are, what needs to be worked on, all the stuff that comes with being a photographer, videographer, or just creator in general. Um, I got out today because I wasn't intentionally planning on it. It was gonna be a really slow day at the office, and I saw when I drove in today, all the mountains were covered in snow, and I go, well, now I gotta go up in the mountains and shoot. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and until next time, sweet.